ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಗೋಂದಾವಲೇಕರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಯು ಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರ್ನ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಮಾರಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹಾವ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ always harboring anxiety for one reason or another without any basis anxiety is a source of distraction distraction in life if the possession of money becomes a cause for anxiety then it is not better is it not better to give up money i do not mean that you should throw away money but at the same time do not get bound by attachment to it what is the use of earning money with hard work if it is to turn your source of if it is to turn into a source of anxiety money is not the entire essence of life nor it is the highest ideal in life money is necessary for livelihood so acquire it by fair means and just sufficient for the needs you should not allow your peace and contentment to get this out whether you get a lot of money or by chance you lose it god's will should be seen behind both the events of getting lot of money or losing it our honor or reputation does not depend on, depend only upon money but it depends mainly upon our behavior our honor is not lost with money everybody feels that one should earn money sufficient not only for the present needs but also for future for the children what do we find in the world the more the wealth the more the problems and disputes between the climates we are not sure of ourselves how can we be sure of children but no one really gives consideration to this there is description in yoga vasishta that ramachandra develop a sort of disgust for money we also have similar feelings the only difference is that ramachandra's disgust was over the surfeit of wealth while ours is for not having enough money we treat money as the means for acquiring happiness in our family life let us divide our requirement for money into two parts the first part meant for our family life should be acquired by honest means do not covet for more the second part which we are fortunate to get in excess of our needs that really belongs to others we should not entertain any greed for acquiring this a rich man spends his entire life in acquiring wealth but in the absence of awareness of god the wealth ultimately 
ruins him. However, if you acquire wealth while maintaining continuous remembrance of God, you will not get ruined but enjoy happiness due to it. Namaste Sharade Devi Kashmir Puravasini Swamaham Prarthaye Nityam Vidya Dhananchadehime Goodbye.